And now they're video recorders. Now, if you think most conventional television is mindless pap with commercial interruptions, you might well wonder why anyone would want to preserve it. But if you enjoy TV, and its schedule doesn't always agree with yours, cassette recorder may be just what you need. Here's Ken Munt's report. Learning the ABCs of buying a VCR requires a little homework, and there are a number of consumer-oriented articles worth reviewing before you leave your living room. Consumer Reports, July 83 issue, and the Home Entertainment Quarterly of September October are two. Here are some other tips. Number one, learn the difference between VHS and Beta, the two formats for home recorders. VHS is more popular, so there are more pre-recorded cassettes, movies, concerts, and so forth on the VHS format. That's important because you can't play a VHS cassette on a Beta machine and vice versa. Beta tapes do have one advantage, however. They produce slightly better picture quality. Number two, know what you want before you go shopping. As electronics writer Jane Wallman explains, salespeople have been known to convince a customer to step up or buy more than they really need. You might also be aware that certain times get bonuses for selling certain brands, so that you might come in and ask for a certain brand and he might try and switch you to another one for his own gain. And he may try to um, make it appear that this model is best for you when in fact it's really best for him. Next, decide on the features you want, the options that will personalize your VCR. Items like remote control, programming time, on-screen search, or cable readiness. Here's some information on each. Tip number three, remote control. That's the device that allows you to sit back, put your feet up, and let your fingers do the fast forwarding. If that's important to you, expect to pay a little for it. Tip number four, programming time. The simple basic VCRs allow you to pre-program the machine to record one show in a 24-hour period. If you travel frequently and don't want to miss some of your favorite shows, the more expensive models let you record as many as eight shows during a two-week period. Again, you'll pay more for this. Tip number five, on-screen search. This handy option now comes on most models. You won't have to go to the highest price decks to get it, and it's useful. With it, you can fast forward through something you don't want to watch while still seeing the picture on the screen. That way, you know exactly where to pick up your viewing again. Tip number six, cable readiness. Some video cassette recorders now come complete with the ability to tape and tune unscrambled cable transmissions without a separate converter box. Tip number seven, don't forget convenience. Make sure the buttons are big enough for you to punch and that the machine will fit in the shelf space you've allotted. A front-loading model saves more space than the pop-up top variety. And finally, tip number eight, price. Video cassette recorders start at about $400, and of course, the more you pay, the more features you get. Just remember to get only the features you want and need and shop around. You can get some really good deals on last year's models. Um, the only thing you might be sacrificing is some of the newer features that are available on this year's models. And our last piece of advice, tip number nine. For more information, head to your local library. I recently bought a video cassette recorder. Do take Ken's advice. Prices and features can vary enormously, and time spent in your local library can pay you big dividends. But once you get one of these things home, what is there to record? Because no one has yet invented a piece of technology that can actually improve the content of television.